One of the most common questions that I get asked about feeder fishing is, especially on still waters, is should we use a cage feeder or should we use a window feeder? Well, there's never any definitive answer in fishing at all. You know what fishing is like. But I have my method, my reasoning of how I use these feeders and why I use them. A good example for me was, was a couple of years ago when I won Feeder Masters uh, down at Bow Beach. Big deep venue, lots of fish there. Um, and one of the problems is actually getting the fish in your peg. Fish are often off the bottom, so you've got to try and get them down. Now a window feeder is without doubt one of the best things for delivering a lot of particles. A cage feeder is perfect for delivering attraction. When that feeder is going through the water, no matter how hard and how much you pack it, there's lots and lots of particles coming off, especially in 25, 30 foot of water. So what a good rule of thumb for me is if you want to attract fish into your peg, always try use a cage of some, some sorts whether it's a wire cage or a plastic cage, they're, they're all brilliant, but the base loaded ones are very good for getting down in deep water. Once you get the fish in your peg, you've got to keep them there, you've got to feed them. This is where these feeders come in. You know, the big feeders, they cast better than any other feeder on the market. They're absolutely superb, but you just need to be careful. Sometimes you can be going too much, putting too much bait in and going in too often with a big feeder. Just think about, you can get a small feeder with just, just as much lead, on that same distance. It's about regulating your feed. So for me, there's a place in my box for both styles, really, really important feeders.